Manchester United need a defensive midfielder. The whole earth knows that. But with Juan Mata, Jesse Lingard and Paul Pogba all leaving this summer, Ralf Ragnick may need to recruit a creative, advanced midfielder as well. Many United fans have identified Ruben Neves as the ideal player to strengthen Manchester United's midfield. While he is a good Premier League level player, I believe that he is slightly overrated. And in this video, I'll tell you exactly why that's the case. I will do that by comparing his stats to two smarter and better alternatives, Marcello Brozovic from Inter Milan and Denis Zakaria from Motion Gladbach in Germany. Players who will not only help Manchester United strengthen the defensive midfield position, but also free up funds to recruit players in other areas of the pitch. I will also throw in Fred and McTominay just to provide perspective. If we pay a huge fee on a new midfielder, then he has to be much better than what we have. Is Ruben Neves better than McFred? If so, how dramatic of an improvement can we expect from such a signing? And finally, is it smart business to pay a huge fee on Ruben Neves or can we sign a free agent and recruit a world-class attacking midfielder as well? All these questions will be answered at the end of the video, so please stick around until the end. Ruben Neves is made to look much better than he actually is because of the way Wolves are set up. Wolves are an effective counter-attacking team that uses Ruben Neves and João Moutinho's long passing ability as their primary weapon to sucker punch their opponents. But is he the type of player that Manchester United needs right now? Based on the fee that was agreed between Wolves and Liverpool for Diogo Jota, as well as their stubbornness when it comes to Adama Traore's transfer, I can predict that it would take a fee of between 55 to 65 million pounds uh, to get Ruben Neves in January or in the summer. Is this smart business from United perspective or is there another way? What are Ruben Neves' strengths? At face value, he seems to be a deep-lying playmaker with a lethal shooting ability from outside the box, precise long passes and a decent defensive output. Wrong. He seems to excel in those areas, but truth be told, he is only good enough for an upper mid-table team. Marcelo Brozovic and Denis Zakari are all better options, especially because they are available on a free. Let's look at the numbers. Ruben Neves has a reputation of being a lethal goal scorer from distance but he only has one goal in the league this season. Him and Fred also have the lowest expected goal stats of all the other players on the list at 0.04. He also has the lowest expected goal per shot stat. Not really earth shattering, is it? Ruben Neves has a passing completion rate of 81.3%. For comparison, Fred's is at 84%, while McTominay, Zakaria and Brozovic are all in the low 90s. Some of you might argue that those players have higher stats because they play it safe, while Ruben Neves attempts mainly long passes. Well, his long pass completion rate is at 73.4%, the lowest among these five midfielders. Brozovic, for example, is at 86.8%. Not only that, but Ruben Neves also ranks behind Marcelo Brozovic in key passes. These are passes that lead to a shot on goal. Brozovic has 18, while Ruben Neves has 12. For comparison, Scott McTominay and Fred have 11 key passes each. Both Brozovic and Zakaria rank low in passes blocked or intercepted, which means that they aren't wasteful with their passing and show great composure and decision making in the middle of the park. On the other hand, Ruben Neves ranks first. His passes get blocked or intercepted or go out of the pitch more often than any other player on this list. Yes, including Fred. Ruben Neves also ranks last in goal creating actions. These are passes, shots or presses that result in a shot by a teammate. Brozovic and McTominay rank first. Based on these stats, we can clearly deduce that Ruben Neves isn't worth a big transfer fee. He simply isn't that much better than what we currently have and there are better options available on a free transfer. Defensive midfielders, of course, need to shield the defense. But Ruben Neves fails in this area as well when compared to Brozovic, Zakaria and McTominay. He has the lowest percentage of tackles won at 29.3%. Higher than Fred, who is of course completely useless in this department, but far behind Brozovic, Zakaria and McTominay, who are all in and around 40%. He also got dribbled past 36 times. That's as much as Scott McTominay and Zakaria combined. Ruben Neves also intercepts the ball far less than Zakaria and Brozovic, who are both at 35 and 33 interceptions each, while Neves is at 25. So what do these stats show? Well, first and foremost, they show that Ruben Neves is far from being the midfield destroyer Manchester United needs. 
Brozovic and Zakaria, however, seem to be much better suited for that role. Moreover, he doesn't seem to be a stellar passer of the ball either, ranking even below McTominay who shows a far better ball distribution ability including long passes. This is why I believe United should go for one of Brozovic or Zakaria as a defensive midfielder instead of Ruben Neves. Both of them are available on a free transfer, which will allow us to pay a higher transfer fee for a blockbuster sign-in in a more advanced midfield position. Someone like Florian Wirtz, Dominic Soboslai or Jude Bellingham wouldn't come cheap, but if we save a transfer fee on Ruben Neves, then we would be able to add quality players and inject both steel and flair to our midfield. Cheers.